The dreams of mind-blowing experience and travel through the world would be incomplete without a visit to the historical country of Italy. Apart from the contributions of the Roman Empire, Italy has proven to be a paradise on Earth, with many exciting places to visit. Today, we'll take you through Italy's top 5 places to visit, featuring a blend of romantic stories, lost histories, great food, artistry, and antique culture. Get your virtual passport ready, remember to fasten the imaginary seatbelt, and let me be your virtual pilot in this airline, taking you through the top 5 places to visit in Italy. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Number 1. Rome what should one call a visit to Italy without visiting Rome? A non-existent one. Rome is the city of eternal allure and structure. Let's begin with the evergreen Forum Romanum, the collection of ruins in the center of Rome. The Forum Romanum dates back more than 2,000 years, with various Roman temples, government offices, and a marketplace of the 8th century. Look out for the Temple of Vesta, the Arch of Septimius Severus, the Senate House of the Roman Empire, Curia Julia, and even the Basilica of Maxentius and Constantine. The Colosseum in Rome is a must-visit. It's the largest standing theater worldwide and was once part of the Seven Wonders of the World. The Colosseum can hold up to 80,000 spectators and was built over 10 years with over 70,000 war-enslaved people's effort and sweat. Then we have the Palatine Hill. This hill is one of the seven hills of Rome, and its history dates back to Roman mythology when Lupo was breastfeeding Romulus and Remus in Lupercal Cave within this hill. What about visiting somewhere Michelangelo adorned with frescoes and beautiful artistic sculptures? See, it's not a surprise these attraction centers get a lot of visitors every year. They're just extraordinary in their own ways. Aside from the mentioned visit to Rome, you should also check out the monumental staircase of the Spanish Steps, the Piazza Navona, St. Peter's Basilica, the Sistine Chapel, and several others. Number 2. Florence Florence is a significant center of literature, science, art, and even philosophy during the Renaissance period of the 14th to 16th centuries. Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, Machiavelli, and several contributors to genius works lived during this time. But where do we even start? You can sample fresh local delicacies from the evergreen Mercato Centrale or join a cuisine class to learn the legendary Tuscan styles. The Duomo and Giotto's bell tower embodies the Florentine Renaissance architecture. The construction started around 1296 and wasn't completed until 1436 by Filippo Brunelleschi. Why would you expect anything less from a structure that took so long? Now, what if you want to see the famous David sculpture of Michelangelo? Because obviously that's pretty important for Florence. Well, this is where Academia Gallery comes in. The Academia Gallery boasts a collection of Andro Botticelli, Domenico Ghirlandaio, Pontormo, Andrea da Sarto, and Alessandro Arori paintings and life depictions. Before leaving Florence, let's take a little detour of Santa Croce Church, which is renowned for more than being an architectural masterpiece, but for being the home to the bodies of Michelangelo. Galileo Galilei, Machiavelli, and Rossini. It's called the Temple of the Italian Glories for this exact reason. Number 3. Venice Third on this list of the top places to visit in Italy is our city of canals and gondolas, Venice. This floating city is built on over 100 small islands in a lagoon. Look to the right and left. This is where the streets are in the form of canals and water. Venice rose in the 5th century AD as a strategic maritime power, connecting Europe with the East. Let us proceed to some attractions you should look for in Venice. Take a gondola ride through the Grand Canal, where you can enjoy the pleasant romantic atmosphere of Venice, or take on a Vaporetto. Sometimes the labyrinthine streets along the canal are enough to satisfy tourists. 
Some landmarks you'll sightsee while on a ride on the Grand Canal are the 15th century Palace Cadoro, Rialto's Bridge, St. Mark's Basilica, and even the Doge's Palace of the former seat of the Venetian government. Also in Venice is the Piazza San Marco, a square in the city center. To the average human, there are several squares on it, but what made this different is the historical, architectural, and cultural significance attached to it about Venice. From the magnificent surroundings, famous glass blowers of Murano, and live music to the welcomes from the pigeon, you won't regret visiting Piazza San Marco. Before we leave Venice on this virtual airline, let us remember that St. Mark's Basilica, a masterpiece of Venetian architecture and a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is also in Venice. This landmark, with its iconic five domes, was built in 828 AD to be the House of St. Mark. Relics were brought from Alexandria, Egypt. Number 4. Cinque Terre Moving from the trendy cities in Italy, Cinque Terre is one of the most colorful, it's a collection of five villages standing firm on the cliffs of the Italian Riviera. When the Saracen pirates raided around, some families fled and settled into what we see today. Rio Maggiore is the oldest settlement before the remaining four. Mararora, Coniria, Vernazza, and Monteroso al Mare. And what makes this place unique? Well, first, its location. Then its colorful appearance, series of activities, a different lifestyle, sweet chaquetra wine, panoramic views, pestos, and the beach. Tourists can hike through the five villages with more than 10 hiking trails, or maybe through the most popular 12-kilometer Sentiero Azuro. Visit the olive and vineyard groves, take a boat trip around, relax on the beach, and enjoy the wine. But don't get drunk. The landscape is a little rocky and not something someone will want to take on in a drunken state. Cinque Terre is a perfect spot for mind cleansing and natural relaxation. This beautiful place made it on this list as one of Italy's favorite places to visit. Number 5. Tuscany Now that we've escaped the Saracen pirates at Cinque Terre, we're free to walk into the rolling hills of Tuscany, the land of picturesque landscapes and food. This region is the last on this list, but rather than talk about the structural magnificence of the city, why not go for another thing? The streets of Tuscany are a haven of food, boasting tempting fresh and traditional dishes uncommon in the world. Tuscany is a large region that covers most of the places mentioned in this video. But why take the tip when you can take the entire thing? In Tuscany, you can visit the charming hilltop towns of San Gimignano and Siena, engage in wine tasting, or take a cooking class. Some of the attractions in Tuscany are the rich heritage of Val d'Orcia, the white marble scenery of the Apuan Alps, the tower-filled Monte Rigioni, Etruscan ruins in Volterra, and several others. So there you have it, the top five places to visit in Italy. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button, share your thoughts in the comment section, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell so you'll be among the first to know when we publish next. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.